Hello guys, in our previous class, we've talked about strip in string. We've talked about the L strip, the out strip, and the strip. But in this class, we are going to be talking more on string, the string on the string method. But before that, um, instead of the Google Collab, I'm using Jupyter Notebook. So whatever code I'm writing here, you can still write it in your in your Google Collab. But if you actually want this uh, Jupyter Notebook, just go to Google, then type um, Anaconda. So, so this is Anaconda now. So you just click on the first link here, then you can download it. But I won't be going into that for now because of our time. So you can just download it. But I won't be going. I won't be going there now because of our time. So now, um, let's define a variable name as a bola. If I run it now, it will run. If I call on the name, we get it. So I told you that whenever you want to get a method that is associated with a data type, you use dir in small letter, you open brackets, then you pass in the value. So it's going to bring, bring out the method that are related to the string, um, to the string because the value is actually a string. The value data type is a string. So we've actually talked about the, the else strip, the else strip and, and others. So let's talk a little bit about um, the replace. So if actually, let's say for instance, I'm coming. Let's say for instance, um, I want to change this name, this B, I want to change it to T. All what you need to do is that you say name dot replace. So there is a method called replace. Then for the first argument there, you pass in what you want to remove, which is B, then you press comma. Then for the second argument, you pass uh, what you want to use to replace it, which is T. So if I actually run it now, it will remove this B and replace it with T. So you can actually store it in a variable name. Call it name2. So whenever we call on name2 now, we have Tola. So another method that we are going to be talking about is the start width. Can you see the start width here? So it allows us to check whether um, a particular value actually starts with a particular um, alphabet. So let's say for instance, we have name2 to be taller. We can actually check whether it actually starts with um, start with um, t. So you write start with, open bracket, then in string, you put um, t there. So if I actually run it now, it will return true, which is a boolean. So what it means is this. It means that the name2 starts with t. So if I actually pass b here, obviously it will return false. So for the, for the last one, we are going to be talking about splits. You know, we can actually go over everything. I just need to pick, pick it randomly. So let's say we're having a name theory to be equals to DG Michael. Now, so if I actually call on DG name theory now, we have DG Michael. Now let's say that you want to separate the name, the name. Um, based, you know, it's actually the space that actually separate them, separate them from one another. So you can actually use deli this delimiter to separate it. All what you need to do is you say name theory dot split, then you pass in the delimiter and delimit in string you pass it in which is space. So if I actually run it now, it will separate the first name which is DG from the second name. So what is actually written here is actually a list. So this is another data structure in Python. So now let's go to um, numbers in Python. So numbers. So let me create more cell. Okay, in numbers in Python, the numbers is actually, um, for the numbers data type is divided into three. So we have the int, we have the float, and we have the complex number. But I'm just going to limit us to the, to the first two, which is the integer and the float. So, what so whenever you have a number, like a decimal number, in Python, it is being regarded as float. For example, if you're having something like 1.2, if you run it now, it's going to print. And if you actually try to check the type of 1.2, it will give me a float. Don't forget that I, I told you that you actually assign a variable name. So you can actually see s equals to 2.5. If you check, if you call on S now, it will, it will, 
reference that value and if you actually check the type of s it will still give you a float so now so for integer integer are numbers without decimal so that is actually they actually stand alone so if you actually run it now it's going to run and if you actually check the type of theory sorry there is a typo here type of theory is going to give me int which is an integer and for complex number complex number are just numbers with this so if i actually run it now it will give me um this and if i try to check the type it will give me um complex complex number so i won't be going to that for now so i'm going to remove it so now what can we do with all these numbers we just um as you guys know we can actually add the numbers together so let's say we're having s to be equals to 4 y equals to 9 so we can have s plus y it will give us 13 we can have s minus y it will give us minus 5 we can have s times for times you you're going to use a um, star more like a st asterisk times y we are getting 36 then for division you're going to use a um, backslash x backslash y it will it will divide that is 4 divided by 9 so that is 0.4444 then for the last one you can actually use a um, raised to power but we are going to use a two star for that so two raised to power theory is going to give us eight then if you want to get a uh, modulus for mode all what you need to say is theory percent two so it's going to give you the remainder that is three divided by two one remainder one so let's try so you know that is it's that so five divided by two is actually give us one you know two goes in five two times remainder one so that is about that okay now very good so now another thing is this let's say you have a num a, na a variable name called digi s equals to digi and you have y to be equals to three now, one thing you can do is this. You can't add a string plus a number together because they are a different data type. So you can't do something like s plus y. It will give you an error. So that is, can only concat concatenate string, not integer. So you can't add a data type of um, an, another a, a value from another data type with a value from another data type. So it will actually raise an error. So if you actually want to write, if you actually want to add it together, you need to use the valid number s equals to 6, y equals to 9. So if I call on s plus y, it will give me 15. Very good. So this is all about, that is all about this um, section. So thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.